Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for staying for this wonderful celebration of Westminster's global relationships. Our relationships with congregations, church governing bodies, and educational institutions in Cameroon, Cuba, and Palestine were established and flourished under Tim's leadership. And if you were able to listen to either the 8.30 or the 10.30 service, you heard Tim say just how much those relationships have shaped who we aspire to be as a congregation. Connecting with our siblings in Cameroon and Cuba and Palestine, has what it has meant for us is that there have been opportunities to learn, grow, and work together in hope toward a just, loving, joyful, peaceful, and sustainable world. And if those sound familiar to you, those are all part of the hope for the world that this congregation has articulated. And truly, at Kumbatown Presbyterian Church, at El Redentor, at Evangelical Lutheran Christian Church, hope endures. We are inspired by these congregations. We are inspired by their resilience in the face of often very challenging circumstances. We are inspired by their generous response and love of their neighbors. That love has meant providing something like basic clean water. That love has meant providing educational opportunities. That love has meant providing shelter and places for children to grow in environments where they are told that they don't have any value. We are inspired by the creativity of our partners. They have a joy and a peace that they will not allow to be taken away. Please hear now from the three teams. They will present in order. We'll hear first from Cuba, and then we'll hear from Cameroon, and then we'll hear from Palestine. Tim will also come and invite some conversation so that we can have some updates about what's happening in the three contexts of these three partners. So again, thank you for being here. And I'm gonna play, pray a retroactive grace. Um, we give God praise and thanks for this food that we have received. Dear God, we thank you for the hands that prepared it. We pray that as we eat it, it will prepare our bodies to do that which you have called us to do in all the places where you call us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, hi, I'm Steve Anderson. I'm a member of the Cuba partner team. And as Elena said, uh, we'll start with a presentation from Cuba. Uh, I'm gonna be very brief because the main thing is for each of the partner congregations, we have videos to share as well as comments. And as Tim mentioned this morning, we have two visitors from uh, Cuba who will also share their thoughts around partnerships and also relationship with, with Tim. So as I was thinking about uh, the, our partnership with Cuba, and as was mentioned earlier, uh, it's a broad relationship. It's with our partner congregation in Matanzas, El Redentor. It's with the broader Cuban church in Cuba. It's with the theological seminary in Matanzas. As I was thinking about this, I went back and I, I calculated or I counted the number of trips and the number of people from Westminster who have gone to Cuba. So we have had over 30 trips in 20 years. <clears throat> there have been over 300 travelers that have gone on those trips. And there's a, a, over a little more than 150 different individuals who have gone on those trips. So it's, uh, it's very uh, rewarding to see the fact that many folks who go once they want to go back a second time, a third time, and, and more, because it really helps us cultivate those relationships. So we're going to now switch over to the videos, and we'll, we have a series of short videos from Cuba. One, the first one is from our, the pastor at El Redentor, Anais. The second set of videos are from members of the congregation 
members of the session, Magdalena and Fidel, members of the women's group, Mare, uh, members of the youth groups, uh, Yolan and Oer. Uh, and then we also have a message from the seminary from Carlos Emilio Ham. And then lastly, but not least, we'll bring up Dora Arce, who's the executive director of the Presbyterian Churches in Cuba, and Renario Arce, who is the executive secretary for the Cuban Council of Churches. And they'll share their thoughts on the relationships that we've built over the years. And again, I think also we'll share some thoughts on their friendship with Tim Hart Anderson. And with that, if we can roll the Cuba videos. Hablar de la congregación al Redentor, hablar de la congregación de Westminster, es hablar de encuentros, es hablar de alegría, de música, de gozo, es hablar también de paz y de mucha esperanza, pero especialmente es hablar de familia, de familia que se ha venido construyendo a lo largo de estos 20 años, que se ha venido acompañando, que se ha venido sosteniendo en la oración, en el amor de Dios y también en la fe. Todo este camino recorrido, todo este andar hasta este momento ha sido también posible gracias a una persona que ha puesto toda su vocación, todo su amor y también toda su sabiduría para que esto sea posible. Esa persona es el pastor Tim, o Tim, como también cariñosamente le llamamos desde acá del Redentor. Y hoy queremos como familia agradecer por tu vida, agradecer por todo lo que has construido, por tu vocación y tu sentido profundo de servicio y de ministerio a Dios y también a este pueblo. Te agradecemos por tanto y te bendecimos para que Dios continúe caminando a tu lado en esta nueva etapa. Qué difícil es decir en tan poco tiempo lo que significa para uno adquirir una familia. Qué lindo saber que se va del pacto de un acuerdo. Es hermoso saber que estamos uno para el otro que sufrimos las pérdidas de uno y de los otros, que reímos las alegrías de uno y de los otros, que cantamos Happy Birthday, que, que nos tenemos. Creo que somos ejemplos de reconciliación y de amor. Un saludo, un abrazo grande a mi hermana querida Gretchen, a Eric Beck, a Eric Adams, a Barbara Mauck, a Tim Hunglas, a, a, a Tim Anderson. Muchas gracias. Un beso. Desde pequeño, que tengo tres años, recuerdo que hubieron muchos encuentros entre ambas iglesias, escuelas dominicales, escuelas de verano, otros encuentros que se han planificado. Quisiera también mandarle saludos a toda la congregación de parte de nosotros, que los estimamos mucho y lo queremos con todo el corazón. Nuestro hermanamiento eh, con la iglesia de Westminster es muy hermoso, es de muchos años y en mi experiencia eh, es gratificante ver cómo existe esa hermandad, esa afectividad eh, tanto de allá para acá como de aquí para allá y es bien bonito, es bien hermoso cuando ver que otros hermanos, a pesar de no hablar el mismo idioma, eh, se relacionan. Les da, doy un gran saludo, los queremos mucho y esperamos vernos pronto. Eh, que Dios les bendiga, al igual que a nosotros. Hello, brothers and sisters from Westminster Church. It's good to know that we have brothers and sisters in another church that are caring, take care of us, that are praying for us. We liked very much your last visit and we are hoping to see you soon. Es increíble el tiempo, el tiempo como pasa tan rápido y, y me parece que fue ayer la primera vez que vimos o vinieron las primeras visitas de nuestros hermanos de Wilmit. Eh, aquello fue un gran acontecimiento, era un momento muy importante para nuestra iglesia, pero además ha significado eh, un, un, un fuerte aliento para el avivamiento de nuestra iglesia y un gran apoyo en todos estos años donde hemos podido percibir eh, un amor inmenso no solo de parte de ellos, sino en sentido general a la iglesia, sino en sentido general a nuestra familia, porque ha sido una unidad eh, como familia 
y hemos pasado momentos difíciles, pero también momentos alegres, donde más que como hermanos de la iglesia, de congregación, lo hemos compartido como una gran familia. Por eso queremos enviarle un saludo especial a todos nuestros hermanos de Wimmister, eh, agradecerles por todo lo que han hecho con nosotros y también eh, especialmente mandarle a, a personas que han estado muy cerca de, de nosotros, como es el caso de Bárbara, de Steve, eh, el propio Tim, nuestro gran pastor, y Edward, bueno, no quiero decir nombre porque no quisiera agregar nada, todos son importantes. Un saludo caluroso de nosotros, de toda mi familia, y nos vemos, nos vemos mucho, los queremos mucho. My dear brother Tim, you have had two great passions in your long-standing ministry. One is the pastoral work, and the other one is theological education. I have had the privilege and I have been blessed to, to work together and to accompany you. On the one hand, when I served for six years as, as a pastor in the Redeemer, Presbyterian Reformed Church in Versailles, where the Westminster Presbyterian Church has a partnership. And on the other hand, um, when I have been serving as the president of the Theological uh, Ecumenical Seminary here in, in Matanzas, where you also have a partnership together with the Synod of the Presbyterian Reformed Church in Cuba. In both cases, uh, we have been blessed to have had your, your solidarity, your uh, care, your support, and not least, you have been a, one of the main uh, supporters of our uh, project of purchasing a building in, in Havana, in the capital city of our seminary, in order to pursue our programs. So we want to thank you with all our heart for your support, my brother. We wish you well, and we hope that even when you are retiring as a pastor, you continue to accompany us. God bless you, my brother, and have enjoy your very well deserved retirement. Ciao. to come, otherwise it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to look at you. <laughs> okay, well, I wish this could be in Spanish because I think I don't have words enough in English to say how we are feeling right now. Tim is a friend, it's a brother, it's more than that what you have in your minds. Uh, so we are very grateful for the opportunity to be here. We traveled from Havana in a very interesting journey. <laughs> we went west and north and south and east <laughs> in order to get here, but we are really blessed. And uh, we are sad that there are some people that wanted to be here, but because of our not good relationships with your country, they were not able to get the visas. Um, but nevertheless, we carry with us the love and the respect and the gratitude for this friendship and for this partnership, not only with the Versailles Church, the Redeemer, but also with the Synod. Uh, so I'm talking now on behalf of the Presbyterian Church in Cuba who has been blessed by this relationship. We have been blessed with Tim's joy and wisdom and uh, we have a nickname for him, but you may not understand the nickname because it's a very specific song that um, Polo Montañez used to sing. Maybe if there is any Cuban here, they will know. We, we name him Guajiro Natural, which is sort of, how do you translate that in English? Uh, <laughs> How do you call the, the people who work in the fields, in the, in the countryside? Farmer. 
farmer, natural farmer. Don't ask why. Cuban farmer. So, um, but really, we we are here bringing the love and um, and the embrace all of you and especially Tim uh, for this friendship. And we hope that even you are retired, we continue to be our Guajiro Natural. So, so I have some presents. You want to talk and then I give the presents, all of them? Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I, I join the words that uh, Dora. It's very difficult in English uh, to express our, our feeling today and our friendship with Tim. When, when uh, a Cuban say, tú eres mi amigo, it's not, you know, it's not a formal relation. In Cuba we say, tú eres mi amigo, or, tú eres, or you say, tú eres mi acere. Hacer is uh, Yoruba, brother, in, in Yoruba language, which we are part of that history. So, Tim is nuestro amigo, de corazón, y nuestro acere. And that is something very important for Cubans to say that. And Tim has supported with a great solidarity our church, the seminary, Carlos, uh, the rector of the seminary, asked me to, he sent already a short film, but he asked me to express our gratitude as institution, especially the support and the ideas of Tim to find a, a place in Havana for the seminary. Tim has been one of, maybe the first, that had that understanding that we needed a place in Havana. And um, I was speaking to him last time, uh, and I said, well, um, you're retiring from your work of pastor, but you continue our relation with us, and especially the relation with the institution in Havana. So uh, Carlos has asked me to reaffirm the invitation to come to the institute in Havana, to be with us, and, uh, and it's also, you're part of it. You're part of it. So uh, when I went this morning to the lab, to your office, I saw that you retired all the books. Yeah. yeah. But I was going to tell you that part of that, at least, should go to the library in Havana, in our institute. <laughs> because, and I'm inviting you to come to the inauguration of, uh, of uh, the institute, you surely will come, but also to the inauguration of the library with some of those books that are not there now. <laughs> because, because the library will be named Tim Hans Anderson. So you have to come. You have to come where it will say Tim Hans Anderson. Guajiro Natural. Guajiro Natural y Acere. Acere. And we have some gifts. I have uh, from, from the seminary. So uh, this is something that you may have in the office of the church. This is for you. This is the symbol of our Cuban church, uh, made with uh, barro. How do you say barro? Cla no. Um, pottery. From Cuban soul. Thank you very much. Okay. This is something from Versailles, from the Redeemer. That's why I was so concerned that my luggage didn't arrive. <laughs> this is 
This is from Versailles, from the Redeemer. These are notes from the congregation, and you have a surprise in there. To become a real Guajiro Natural, do you need what? What do you need? What do you need? To be a real Guajiro Natural. What? What? Eh, Guayabera! <laughs> Don't break it. Oh! <laughs> so these are, these are from the National Church. We want you to have this colorful painting in your wall, in your place. Oh, thank you. And Reinerio and I, we uh, are pastor children, as you, as aren't you? You are a pastor children too, child too. Uh, hijo de pastor? Uh -huh. Okay, so my mom used to say that at the seminary, wives and husbands of pastors should have at least one semester of training to become pastor's wife or pastor's husbands. So this is for the wife that have been carrying with you all so many years. Gracias. I had no idea this was going to be happening, so thank you. Uh, I met, my first trip to Cuba was in 1982, during the Soviet domination. And I went to the seminary and met your mother and your father. She taught me to sing. He taught me to think theologically, a lo cubano, in a Cuban way. And I've been with you for all those years, 40-some years. So blessings on you all. Thank you. Let's go on to the next partnership. Keep this going. <laughs> Hello, my name is uh, Joseph Mukete. Ori originally, I'm from K-Town. That's Kumba Town in Cameroon. I became a member here at Westminster in 1980. Uh, after a year, I moved out of Minnesota. Eight years after, I came back. When I came back, um, I was worshiping here at Westminster. One of the elders showed me that these are all communion trees. I said, well, this will be used, useful in Cameroon. So we arranged and sent the silver uh, plates to Cameroon, which they were using. That was in the mid-90s. Uh, uh, also, we sent old communion, old choir robes, which uh, the choir had changed from the beige to the blue they are using now. That was also, and also uh, uh, hymn books. When Tim came to Westminster in 1999, he invited uh, Africans who were worshiping here to his house. Uh, during our conversation, I told him, Tim, you know, Westminster had done a few things uh, in Cameroon, particularly in Kumba. Uh, and uh, I'm looking at helping my primary school to supply books with them. Not knowing that, he took note of that statement. Uh, fast forward, he invited me in the company, uh, committee to work with uh, other people when we were raising phones. Uh, our first trip to Cameroon was in 2000. It was an unofficial trip. No, 2002. 2004, Westminster established a partnership with the Kumba Town Church after the team came back and uh, related to the church that where we met our Kumba Town friends and uh, we're happy the way they're worshiping. Westminster has done a lot uh, to uh, the Kumba Town Church. I'll uh, call uh, Mrs. Mary Ann Mukete 
to, who is a, a former moderator. She was there when the partnership started, and for many years she worked with, uh, uh, with uh, us coming from uh, Westminster. Uh, good afternoon, brethren in the Lord. It really is an honor for me to be here today as we celebrate partnerships. At a time such as this, I'm reminded of the words of scripture in the Apostle Paul's letter to the Hebrew people. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse two, Paul writes, do not forget to show hospitality to strangers. For by so doing, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. This is a very popular verse in scripture that many people are familiar with. But I'd like to first read from Hebrews chapter 13, the first verse which says, let brotherly love continue. Some versions of the Bible read, let love of the brethren continue. Now we can translate this to mean, let love flow from us as God's own people. Let this love be an ongoing force in our lives. Let us show love for one another. Now love is action. Of course, there are many ways that we act in love with each other, in love with our fellow man. But one way is in receiving others, those who we may not know, those who may be different from us in appearance, in language, in culture, but yet we love, for love is of God, and we love because God first loved us. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse two, the apostle Paul exhorts us to show hospitality to others, to receive others into our midst. We at the Presbyterian Church Kumatown are loving and joyful people. We love the word of God. Our congregation was the first established Presbyterian Church in, in the whole of what was called Kuma District which at that time encompassed what are today three large divisions. It is from our congregation that other congregations sprang forth, carrying the word of God closer to his people. We at the Presbyterian Church Kuma Town have always cherished receiving others who come into our midst to worship with us in the joy of service. This comes very naturally for us but through our genuine and sincere act of hospitality, and by so doing, we feel that we can truly say that we have entertained angels unaware, bearing in mind that one in need can be an angel coming into our midst, but one who comes into our midst in our time of need can also be viewed as an angel. In 2002, when Reverend Mitchell and team first visited our PC Kuma Town congregation in the company of our brother, Mr. Joseph Mkete. We welcomed them in our usual Kuma Town style, with warmth and joy as brethren in the Lord. We opened our hearts to them and showed our own form of hospitality. At that time, we could not have imagined the effect of our hospitality. We could not have imagined the extent of brotherly love that would come to transpire between our Presbyterian Church, Kuma Town Congregation, and Westminster Presbyterian Church, Minneapolis, Minnesota, that it would eventually lead to a partnership being created in 2004 between our two congregations. A partnership rooted in brotherly love and faithfulness to God, our Creator. Over the years, pastors and congregational members from Westminster have visited us in Kumba on seven different occasions, and pastors and congregational members from Kumba Town have visited Westminster on two different occasions. These exchange visits have enabled us to know each other better and to appreciate as well as acknowledge that though some differences may exist, we are yet bound by this essential truth that as children of God, we are one in the Lord. The Apostle 
Paul writes in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 16, do not neglect doing good and sharing, for with such sacrifices, God is pleased. As one who met the Westminster team in 2002, and as one who has been a witness to the establishment and the work of the partnership between Westminster and PC Kumatown, I wish to say to my brethren of Westminster that God is pleased with your sacrifices of support to the Presbyterian Church Kumatown and to the Presbyterian Church in Cameroon in general. Through the partnership between PC Kumatown and Westminster, our Presbyterian Church Kumatown congregation has been assisted with materials and equipment in carrying out developmental and in infrastructural projects within the congregation, in rendering health services to members and worshipers of our congregation, in supporting orphans and vulnerable children of our congregation, and in assisting internally displaced persons who have fled their homes and settled in Kumba due to civil unrest in the areas in which they lived. We truly believe that we are a blessed congregation of faith and that God blesses us to enable us to be a blessing to others. We are grateful to God that where our hands have been short to cater to all of the needs of our congregation and God's children, that he has brought you, our brethren, into our midst to come alongside of us, to assist us to further his work. It goes without saying that our Presbyterian Church, Kumatown, Westminster partnership has not only impacted our congregation directly, but has impacted the Presbyterian Church in Cameroon in general, where there has been support to our Kumatown nursery and primary schools in terms of infrastructure and supplies, supplies and equipment to our Presbyterian High School in Kumba, support to our Presbyterian Church Center in Kumba, the putting in place of an HIV AIDS support coordinator for the Presbyterian Church in Cameroon, and the in creation of the endowment fund from the Dayton family through Westminster Presbyterian Church to the Presbyterian Theological Cemetery for the training of pastors of the Presbyterian Church in Cameroon. This endowment fund is an everlasting legacy our late former moderator, Nku, used to call it a legacy until thy kingdom come. And we give God the glory for this. We wish to thank Reverend Anderson for being the catalyst of our PC Kumatown Westminster Bond, for working tirelessly to foster this partnership and fervently to nurture it. We are grateful to Reverend Anderson and to our Westminster brethren for the trust that was placed in our congregation and for the confidence that was bestowed upon us, trusting us to be able stewards. Reverend Timothy Hart Anderson, we of the Presbyterian Church of Town wish to say that you will forever be in the heart of our Presbyterian Church of Town congregation. We will always remember how you climbed our pulpit to deliver the word of God to us and how you learned our songs of worship and praise and danced alongside of us in expressions of joy and service. We cannot forget how you commune with us, even hung out with some of us and established lasting friendships. We cannot forget how you learned to love our food and how you shared in our daily life experiences, including joining in to push a minivan that got stuck in the mud on one of our highways. <laughs> Pastor Tim, you have shared with us in times of joy and you have shared with us in times of sorrow. You have been one with us. And of course, our Kumba traditional community cannot forget you as you hold the distinguished traditional title of Quo, a title bestowed upon you by the late venerable Senator Juan Victor Mukete, traditional ruler of the Balfour people. Pastor Tim, as you venture on to new and different avenues of life, it is, it is our prayer that the wind will always be at your back, that the sun will always shine upon your face, and that our gracious God will keep you and your family safe in the palm of his hands. 
And in all things, may God's name be praised forever. Thank you. Now we can see this short video. The Presbyterian Theological Seminary, Kumba, is very happy to celebrate you, the Reverend Dr. Tim, for your legacy in the Church of God. To be very honest, Reverend Dr. Tim, you are an example of a humanitarian agent of this century. You are an epitome of a true missionary, a person with a good heart. This year, the Presbyterian Theological Seminary Kumba celebrates 70 years. It is not a secret that our success story can never be complete without the name Tim. God bless you. Signed, Reverend Professor Bengo David Nyaung Din PTS. Thank you very much. I am Comfort Nkele, former chairperson of PC Kumba Town in Cameroon. Words, I don't, I lack words to appreciate all what Reverend Tim Hart Anderson did for this congregation. There are so many things that we are so grateful for because of him. We congratulate you for all the work you did and thank you for all what you enabled PC Kumbatown to have here to enhance worship and to foster God's work in this congregation. The pews in the congregation, the generator, the windows project, the medical accessories that you've always sent. Thank you once more, Reverend Tim Hart Anderson, for all what you did in PC Kumba Town. And congratulations. May the Lord be with you throughout. Once again, I'm surprised by all this. Thank you very much. We've done this together. So the reference to pushing in the mud. <laughs> Joseph and I were driving along in a car in the rainy season and we got stuck and somehow I ended up pushing the car and, and he ended up in the car and I <laughs> had to tow. I was covered in mud. It was great. We got a picture of it. I loved it. It was fun. This, this, uh, Partnership has meant a lot to me in many different ways. It's started early in my ministry here, and we were honored to have the, uh, the Reverend Nian Sakuniku come and preach here. He was the head of the All Africa Council of Churches. Uh, in effect, the Protestant Pope of Africa was here, uh, and uh, we were honored to have his presence. And I want to thank Mukete Joseph here for his longtime leadership of this group and others in, in the Cameroonian community at Westminster uh, to make making all this possible. Uh, there is a building named at for for Doug Mitchell and also for me. Oh, we've not seen those, but we've seen pictures of them. Uh, thank you for that. And um, you know, in each of these congregational and Church partnerships we have based in local congregations and also educational institutions, preparing new leaders in, in the Kumba Presbyterian Theological Seminary and, and the Ecumenical Seminary in Cuba. And in another institution we're about to hear about, I suspect. So I'm gonna get out of here and we'll go to the third partnership. This is be in Palestine. I don't know who's speaking, but I'm, okay, Kat, Kathleen and Kath, okay. We are not from Palestine, <laughs> except in our hearts. I am Kathleen Campbell, Westminster elder and member of the Palestine Partnership Team 
that visited Bethlehem in March to renew our covenant partnerships with Dara al Kalama University and Christmas Lutheran Church of Bethlehem. We are so sad that we do not have any of our partners here from Bethlehem. Um, Tim alluded to the challenges in Palestine uh, during his sermon today, and we keep them in our hearts. Few people in this room were present when Tim Hart Anderson and Reverend Dr. Mitri Rahib first met, nor were we present as their acquaintanceship evolved into a warm colleagueship and eventually a formal relationship between Westminster and its two partners. But wouldn't it have been interesting? Maybe we can envision the energy of those first meetings as something like Kermit and Miss Piggy running across a field <laughs> shouting, I found a friend who totally gets it. Or maybe Tim and Mitri each recognized that they had met their spiritual doppelganger. Not physical look-alikes, but alike in other ways. Both give 100% attention to the person they are speaking with. Both are unusually visionary and unusually audacious. Both are soulful, but also very structured, able to make things happen by inspiring and empowering others. Both are intellectual, but down to earth. And how fortunate Westminster is that when Mitri chose to leave the church leadership and focus full time on the university, he was succeeded at West, at, uh, sorry, Westminster, at Christmas Lutheran Church of Bethlehem by the intelligent, warm, and capable leader we have discovered in Reverend Dr. Munther Isaac. I'm Kathy Fisher, also a um, former member of the session, but always an elder. And I was on this trip in uh, March to seal these partnerships. <clears throat> Um, 1968 creed from the United Church of Canada kicks off with a powerful statement. We are not alone. This statement reassures us of the continuous presence of God in our lives. Tim's leadership in developing the global partnerships, including the Palestinian partnership, underlines a second interpretation of we are not alone. It is comforting reassurance and it is a call to action. Because we are not alone reminds us that there's an enormous world outside this beautiful building and beautiful city. We must connect to the world. To be that church that God intends us to be and that Jesus envisions, we go out to that world, in our case, to Palestine. We are not alone, neither are our Palestinian partners at Dar al Kalama University and Christmas Lutheran Church. We stand together, connected through our shared faith, shared values, and persistent hope. Tim, the best way we can honor you and honor your inspired formation of these leaderships, this leadership and these covenants, is to move them forward. And we promise to do that with zest and energy, all of which you have modeled for us. We're very pleased to have been able to renew this particular partnership, as Kathleen said, in March. <clears throat> The Palestine, Palestine Partnership Team sees these relationships as not only durable, but brimming with potential and promise and possibility. Joining hands and hearts, 
with Mitri and Munther and the communities that stand with them, we will together create new ways of being in covenant partnership. Thank you, Tim. After these two following recorded messages from Dr. Mitri Raheb and Dr. Munther Isaac, Ronnie Murdoch Zappa will present you with some books of photographs. We don't, we're not naming a building after you, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but these will help you recall the highlights and the people with whom you have made all the global ship partnerships possible. Ronnie, come on up. Yes, would you run the videos, please? Do we have the videos? I hope we have the videos. Dear Tim, greetings from Bethlehem, uh, Palestine. It has been our uh, honor, our joy uh, to work with you over the years here in Bethlehem at Christmas Lutheran Church uh, to build this relationship, partnership, even covenant between our uh, two communities. Uh, over the years, it's been quite a journey. We've learned a lot uh, from one another. We've shared our joys and hopes. Uh, I have always been uh, struck and encouraged by uh, our common passion. Uh, if I look at the covenant we've signed together, we talked about uh, our shared passion for social justice, for peacemaking, for uh, reconciliation. Uh, our church tradition, a shared tradition in community involvement from a Christian faith uh, and worldview. Uh, uh, these common values and uh, passions uh, truly united us in very unique and exemplary uh, ways. Uh, and never forget over the years the conversations we've had about the church as an open space, even as a transparent space to the community, something that I was amazed uh, to see uh, at Westminster, something we seek to do here uh, in Bethlehem. So just want to say thank you uh, for uh, long years of ministry uh, in the States and beyond. Uh, you can be confident that God has used you also to impact our small community here uh, in Bethlehem in such an important place. We wish you all the best. We pray for uh, a blessed uh, future for you and your family. From the little town of Bethlehem, I would like to send a special greeting to a great friend and colleague, to Pastor Tim. When I think of Tim, I think of a visionary leader who uh, can draw uh, wide visions. I think of him as a gifted preacher. I enjoyed uh, his sermons uh, at Westminster as well as here in Bethlehem. Uh, and uh, when I think of Pastor Tim, I think of a leader who is interested in the wider church. Um, I was able to see his involvement in PCUSA in training future leaders for the church. But also I remember the first time he visited us in Bethlehem and how we started this partnership. So he has a vision for the global church as well. And I enjoyed really very much working with him on building this special partnership between Bethlehem and Westminster. Uh, we thank God for the ministry, the vision, uh, the gifts that God gave to Tim. Uh, I would like to thank him for the many years we worked together. Uh, um, um, and I hope that now in the time of his repositioning, I wouldn't say retirement, but repositioning. I hope uh, to welcome him in Bethlehem. Uh, Tim, come over to Bethlehem. Take three months uh, uh, just to be here to 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 enjoy Bethlehem uh, and the fellowship here uh, at Dar al Kalima University. Uh, please give uh, our uh, regards also to your whole family and to the larger family at Westminster Presbyterian Church.
My name is Ronnie Murdoch Zappa, and I am a member of the Palestine, Palestine Partnership Team. I invite Barbara and Doris and Joseph and Ayuk up here to join me. As a gift to Tim and our partners, each of the global partnership teams created a photo album to document and celebrate the legacy of the partnership. Since I have experience creating Shutterfly albums for my family, I was asked to assist with all the books, and I was honored. Through working on the books and listening to the many stories, I have a much better understanding of how these partnerships from these very different countries and these very different communities built wonderful relationships which will continue for years to come. Each of these teams, Barbara and Doris for Cuba, Joseph and Ayuk for Cameroon, and me for Palestine, each of us analyzed hundreds or thousands, depending on the group, of photos to determine which ones would best tell the story and the, of the wonderful relationships and learnings our congregation has experienced. We met together and separately several times to work through the process of creating and editing the photo albums. There will be one of each of the albums in the library by the end of the month. Each of our partnership communities will also receive a copy of this album. But specifically, they're a gift for Tim and for your family. We give you these albums with joy and thanksgiving for the friendships, the transformative friendships that you have enabled many of us to develop and cherish. We hope that these books, along with your own photos and memories, will give you a sustaining understanding of the legacy that you leave Westminster and our global partners. Tim. This is the perfect gift because I have thousands of pictures, and I always think I should organize those someday. <laughs> They've done the work for me, so thank you. Uh, these partnerships are more than just us experiencing a really nice friendship uh, in another land. This is the church. The church. And I would say that uh, we have learned a lot from these friends and other other lands, other communities. Ooh, 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 ooh. And, uh, they have a lot to give to us as we listen and learn from them. The importance of the mutuality of these relationships can't be stress too much. It's all about mutuality and that goes for relationships with communities in these places and right here. We've, we're better in doing our work in the city because of what we learn from you all in these partnerships. So uh, <clears throat> this is a trajectory. It's not a, I, I didn't know this was going to be so THA focused and kind of embarrassing. I, I was hoping you'd be more focused on the three partnerships because they, they're alive, they're dynamic, they're on the move, they're going to need energy and, and uh, imagination, intelligence, and love, and you have a lot of that here. And uh, I look forward to listening and learning um, how these partnerships will continue to bless us as a congregation, and we are blessed by them in order to be a blessing to others. So thank you for this time together and for these gifts. It's wonderful. And, I'm really grateful. I'm so glad my photos are organized now. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Is this complete our business? Uh -huh. okay, good. Mm -hmm. As we close this celebration, we thank all who have made and helped this put this lunch program together. From the delicious food from the setup, the quick setup from the 8.30 service, tables and the beautiful centerpieces to the community, the videos, the presenters, thank you all.